Survivors of brain aneurysms have a new resource on the North Shore. It's a first-of-its-kind support group. Thanks to its creator, a Mandeville woman who survived an aneurysm back in 2009. Joining us this morning is the founder of the group, Becky Winchell, as well as interventional neuro neuroradiologist Dr. Robert Dawson. I'll get that out. Good morning. Thank you guys so much for coming in. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Well, first off, this is such a great idea, and it's the first of its kind, a support group. Becky, tell me about how you came up with the idea. Um, when I had my aneurysm um, afterwards, I, I had no... Um, no resources, nobody to talk to, uh, and I thought, you know, I survived. There's got to be something I can do to help make the community more aware of this. And when I realized what the statistics were of how many people suffered brain aneurysms, I was like, there's no reason why we can't have something um, in the community. So I thought, well, let me start a tennis tournament and raise money. Let me start mm -hmm. raising awareness that way. And before I knew it, it became, um, it turned into a website. It's turned into now a support group. We offered free carotid artery screenings. Um, so it's just, it's been wonderful. And, and the response has been tremendous. So I really want to spread the word um, that this is really for the Gulf Coast and the New Orleans area. Tell us more about your story because there may be folks watching this morning that don't understand brain aneurysms, don't understand what you went through. Um, I had been suffering headaches for a couple weeks but I thought they were sinus headaches mm -hmm. when um, I guess one night I uh, felt like a snap sensation in my head. I had no idea what it was mm -hmm. but I did experience dizziness uh, and I told my husband, something's wrong, it's not right, let's go to the hospital. When I went to the hospital, uh, they misdiagnosed me for a migraine. Went home and two hours later, the pain was immeasurable. I had all the classic symptoms of um, a stiff neck, the blurred vision, nauseous. Mm -hmm. When I went back, um, they said, yeah, you had a ruptured aneurysm. They did the correct screening. So I just think it's also important to, to understand that you need to be your own advocate as well. When you think something is wrong, don't sit around, especially for an aneurysm. When you're in a lot of pain and you have that snap sensation, like something, it, they describe it as it's the worst headache you've ever experienced. Mm -hmm. And that's what it was. Wow. Well, Doctor, I'm sure you hear stories like Becky's every day. Tell us more about kind of the technicalities of, of a brain aneurysm and how dangerous they are. Lots of people have aneurysms or harbor silent aneurysms, and we'll never find all those people. Mm -hmm. 30,000 people a year suffer, to suffer a ruptured aneurysm. Of those people, almost 10,000 die before they reach the hospital. Wow. And another third may have death or disability. And only one out of six people who suffer a ruptured aneurysm mm -hmm. return to their previous level of competency. Luckily, Becky has. Mm -hmm. Maybe she's better, mm -hmm. but we don't want to advocate that. <laughs> uh, the best time to fix an aneurysm is clearly before it ruptures because you don't have all those sequelae from, a from the after effects. Right. And a lot of people, I suspect, after they go home, really aren't quite right, even though we think they are. Mm -hmm. eh, mama's not right. Right. They lose their car keys. Now, I, I lose my car keys, and I presume everybody does, mm -hmm. but people just are not quite up to their previous level of, of, of quickness, and it takes a long time to get over that. One of the things we want to do is to, to take people and try to help this recovery period, which may last years, mm -hmm. and this brain aneurysm uh, survivors uh, activity that we have going on is, is one of those things that we can help survivors mm -hmm. and, the, and their families get back to a normal life. So what can we do other than offer support? Um, is there anything that people can do to prevent one? Do brain aneurysm strike certain groups of people, women more than men? They're slightly more common in women than men. Mm -hmm. The age group is anywhere from 30 to to death. Mm -hmm. The peak is about 60. Mm -hmm. The uh, as we said, the, many of them when they do rupture, they're they're a catastrophic event. Mm -hmm. Their their death rate is much higher than breast cancer, lung cancer, or almost anything you want to name other than a bullet. Mm -hmm. The 
fact is it's very hard to know whether you have an aneurysm or not. Right. Screening efforts are usually not cost effective. Now what's a life worth is another question. Right. But you have to have an MRA to see most aneurysms and most people are not going to buck up the hundred, uh, the thousand dollars right. or more that it takes to have an MRA. Certain family groups who have polycystic kidney disease or have a strong family history of aneurysm probably ought to be screened because that's definitely cost effective. So if two or more family members have had an aneurysm, it would be a good idea to see, see a competent doctor and see about chasing this down. All right. So, Becky, I know we have a big event coming up, correct? Yes. And so how can people get involved? Well, actually, uh, it's already, the Aces Against Aneurysm tournament is already closed. Okay. Um, it was such a success last year that uh, I think we filled up within a matter of two weeks. Mm -hmm. How can they get involved? We're still looking for sponsorships. Um, we would just like for people to know that our money is going to the community mm -hmm. and hopefully we will also we're working towards uh, starting a chapter with the brain aneurysm foundation so well it's gonna it, I think this is gonna be good and hopefully we'll get the word out and this will be a, a wonderful thing for the Gulf Coast area and the support groups we're getting not only survivors and their families but other doctors involved as well mm -hmm. in the community and uh, it, it will be, it'll be a really good thing. If there is someone who has survived a brain aneurysm who's watching this morning and would like to get involved with a support group, how can they do that? I would like for them to show up at the support group. Okay. Uh, we will have information on your website, mm -hmm. um, how to get to our website. Uh, the support group is on the 25th at 1 o'clock in Mandeville. Uh, please come. Just come and, and show up, and it'll be nice that we can all, you know, get together and, and share and share what we've been through. All right, and what are you hearing at these support groups from other women and other men who have been through the same thing you have? Well, this will be the first one, so okay. it, it will be, I think just Dr. Dawson will be there um, leading the group. There will always be a medical uh, doctor or somebody leading the group. Uh, just talking about our experiences if we have question or if you've just re recovering from mm -hmm. the aneurysm they may be scared or apprehensive and so everybody can lend support of their experiences or what has happened to them and that, I think that's so important all right it is very important well Becky thank you so much you. congratulations on thank surviving you. everything you. you've been through and uh, definitely a challenge but you made it through a doctor thanks so much we'll be right back